With a lot of different devices, such as routers and firewalls, as well as access points, you may see that there's an option to do content filtering. And in some cases, there's an additional charge for that. Well, with this particular device, there is no additional charge. But if I click on applications, even though applications does sound like it could be a specific application installed, it really has more to do with websites. So if you take a look at all these different application categories, this is going to filter or be a content filter for our users so they can't do specific things. So by default, we have allow use on everything. But let's say that we wanted to limit use. So for instance, let's go to where it says explicit content. So if I uncheck explicit content, then it's no longer going to allow explicit content on my network. And this is going to restrict both upload as well as download of explicit content. But what is explicit content? I'm going to go away from the default settings that are in my inventory and instead go to the applications link. When I go there, I'm going to see more information than I would have seen otherwise. So now I see those same different categories. And this time I'm going to go to explicit content and I can expand it. And here is the definition of explicit content. So shocking content, weapons, etc. You can also see that it's going to limit which type of network can access it. So for instance, if you had both an employee type of network as well as a guest network, you would see two different networks here. And in that particular case, I could say, well, you know what? I'm going to allow the employees to see specific types of activities, but I'm not going to allow guests to see them. So you could uncheck the guest network, but leave the employee network checked or do the exact opposite and check the guest and uncheck the employee. So you can go through all these different things. One of the more popular ones is going to be the social networking. So if you want to limit any Wi-Fi access to social networking, then it will go ahead and block those by unchecking this box when any users are connected through Wi-Fi. Now, it won't do anything when it comes to wired connections. You'll need a different content filter for that. But for Wi-Fi, it can go ahead and block those for you. So if we take a look, you see sites dedicated to websites and mobile applications. So this is also going to cover mobile applications you can download from app stores where users interact with others with similar interests to oneself. So Facebook, Instagram, things like that. And this list is kept up to date by Aruba or whatever the vendor is themselves. And we don't really have the ability to specify particular types of social networks. In an enterprise product that Aruba also has, then you would be able to specify specific types of social network. And you would also be able to set up specific logs as well as alerts for that type of activity. Content filtering can be a great way to keep employees or guests from accessing certain types of sites or applications that they should not have access to.